My name is Staff Sergeant Cope. I'm an instructor here at the Sabalaski Air Assault School. Today we're going to be going over the A22 cargo bag in accordance with TM 4-48.10. So the first thing that you're going to inspect on the A22 cargo bag is the load brief. So what's going to be on the load brief is the specific aircraft. It's going to have the weight of the load and then the clevis needs to be hand tight. All right, once you check the load brief, you're gonna turn around. You're gonna pick up your apex. You're gonna ensure that you have an aluminum spacer. All right, you're gonna check your bolt, castellated nut, and your cotter pin. You're gonna move to your grab hook assembly. You're gonna make sure your grab hook assembly is not inverted, so this aluminum roller needs to be on the inside of the potted eye. Next thing you're gonna check is the link count. The link count is going to be three. One, two, and three. That third link is in the grab hook assembly. And take your lifting chain. Make sure it's going one time and one time only through your clevis. You're gonna pick up your clevis. You're gonna make sure that it's taped on the bottom, taped on the top, and the threads are facing up. You're then going to grab the bottom 24 inch suspension web and trace all the way down till you get to that connector snap. You're gonna make sure that your connector snap is taped and the opening gate is facing towards you. You're gonna trace the second 24 inch suspension web. Till you get to the connector snap, make sure it is taped and make sure that the opening gate is facing away from you. You're gonna trace the third 24 inch suspension web to the connector snap. Make sure that it is taped and the opening gate is facing away from you. And trace the fourth 24 inch suspension web all the way to the connector snap. Make sure that it is taped and the opening gate is facing away from you. You're then going to move to the 188 inch strap. You're gonna put your hand about halfway with the other right on the stitch box and you're going to trace until your fingers touch, once they touch. All right, you're gonna remember this saying for the A22, green, green, metal, green tape. What that means is green, green, metal, all right, green. Your excess is taped and secured. You're then going to move to your first lateral strap. You're going to trace from stitch box to stitch box. Trace, all right, there are no twists. And the same thing, green, green, metal, green, tape, and secured. You're gonna grab on your stitch boxes, trace down to the second lateral strap. You're gonna trace, make sure there are no twists. Once your fingers touch, green, green, metal, green, tape, and your excess is secured. You're gonna trace down to your third lateral strap. You're gonna ensure that there are no twists. Then you're going to say green, green, metal, green tape, and secured. Now you're gonna pull these two straps out. You're gonna trace your lacing cord. You wanna make sure that your lacing cord right here, it is routed properly. So it's gonna be from south to north. But make sure that the ears are not twisted. Now you're going to take your hands and you're going to trace that lacing cord and it's gonna make one X and one X only and make sure it's going behind those straps. Once you've traced it all the way up, then you're going to get to your knot. This is going to be a bow knot. The way you check it, all right, you're gonna check the four pieces of rope coming out of that knot. So one, two, three, and four. On the other side, one, two, three, and four. You wanna make sure your excess is taped. Next thing that you wanna check is your other 188 inch strap. You're gonna go about halfway with one hand and then put your hand on the stitch box on the other and you're gonna go ahead and trace into, until your fingers touch. Once they touch, no twist, then you're gonna move on to your first lateral strap. You're going to trace all the way, make sure that there are no twists and green, green, metal, green tape and secured. You're gonna put your fingers on these stitch boxes. Let's go ahead and trace down to that second lateral strap. You're gonna trace that lateral strap, making sure that there are no twists. 
or no twist. I'm gonna count green, green, metal, green, tape, and your excess is secured. I'm going to trace down to your third lateral strap. All right, so no twists, green, green, metal, green, tape, and your excess is secured. You're gonna pull your straps out. You're gonna check your lacing cord to make sure it is routed properly from south to north, also that it is not twisted. You're then going to trace your lacing cord, making sure that it makes one X and one X only, and is going behind your straps. Once you've traced it and you get to the knot, make sure it is a bow knot. You're gonna check one, two, three, four on one side, and then one, two, three, and four on the other side. Make sure your excess is taped and secured. You're gonna to move to the other half of your 188 inch strap. Put one hand halfway, put your other hand on that stitch box and trace, ensuring that there are no twists once your fingers touch. Good. You're gonna to move to your first lateral strap. You're gonna trace, ensuring that there are no twists, green, green, metal, green tape, and secured. I'm gonna trace down to your second lateral strap. Trace your lateral strap. Make sure that there are no twists. Green, green, metal, green, tape, secured. You're gonna trace down to your last lateral strap. Make sure that there are no twists. And green, green, metal, green, tape, and secured. You're gonna pull these straps out. You're gonna check your lacing cord to make sure it is routed properly. These are not twisted. You're gonna grab your lacing cord and trace it up. Make sure there's one X and one X only and it is going behind your straps. If you trace them and you get to that knot, make sure it's a good bow knot. You're gonna count one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Make sure your excess is taped and secured. All right, you're gonna check your other half of your other 188 inch strap. You're gonna trace all the way until your fingers can touch once they touch. Count green, green, metal, green, tape, and secured. Coming to your last few lateral straps. All right, you're going to trace your lateral straps. Make sure that there are no twists. And green, green, metal, green, tape. All right, and secured. I'm gonna trace down to your second lateral strap and trace to make sure that there are no twists. Once there are no twists, green, green, metal, green, tape, and secured. I'm gonna trace down to your third lateral strap. Trace to make sure that there are no twists. Green, green, metal, green, tape, and secured. You're gonna pull your straps out. Make sure that your lacing cord is not twisted. Then you're going to trace your lacing cord to make sure it makes one X and one X only, and it's going behind your straps. Once you get up to the knot, you're gonna make sure it's a bow knot, and you're gonna count one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and then your excess is taped and secured.